What's up guys, Jeremy here from rcnightmare.com bringing you a charger unboxing. Woo! Well, as you guys know, uh, I've been in the market for a new charger and power supply and uh, I've been rocking a ProTech, no problems. Um, I've been run rocking Dur Duratrex or Onyx stuff for a while, no problems there. And I even just got some high-end stuff, some much more racing um, stuff that I'm starting to think like I'm just going to keep it because if I'm going to show up at the track, at least I'll look the part. Uh, this is the uh, Onyx 245, very well known. This does LiPo, LIFE, and MH, and NICAD. It's got two outputs, so that's the big difference between that and a lot of other Onyx chargers you may have seen. It's also got a nice big digital display on both sides. Um, so I'm wondering, the one question I had, which I probably should have looked, here we go. So it'll go up to an 8-cell NICAD, um, up to 7,500 ma, although I don't know why capacity seems to matter. Um, so this will uh, balance at 5 mils per cell, blah, blah, blah. Let's look at it. So the one drawback on this charger is going to be that it tops out at a 3-cell LiPo. Now you say, how is that a drawback? You know, a lot of times I'll tell people, don't get caught up on that, blah, blah, blah. Well, for us, you know, we happen to do a lot of A-scale buggies, A-scale truggies, so I'm rocking a 5S, sometimes a 6S. So this Onyx is more of a, um, a great field charger. Uh, but, you know, one of the, the reason I think it limits out, though, is because it still runs on a wall plug. So with the Onyx 245, you basically are topping out at you're pushing as much voltage as you can without needing an independent power supply. So that's a huge plus. So if you normally, you know, for most bashers or even racers, 2, 2S, 3S, that's all you're going to use. And uh, the Onyx 245 does that, and you've got two independent outputs, so you can charge two batteries at the same time. You've got your leads here. And well, actually, what's up? This is kind of nice. So you've got hey, this is not too bad. So you've got your plug-ins right there for Traxxas connectors and Deans. Wow, nice touch. Um, of the three chargers I've opened that are all well over $200, I did not get these with either one of them. And I ordered some of these from Amin. They were like nine bucks for one or two. I think two maybe. And I was scrambling around trying to re-solder some stuff to charge it up the other day. And I was really pissed off that it didn't come with them. And look at this. It comes with the Tamiya stuff, Deans, and Traxxas connectors right there. The balance chargers. This is a really great little charger. Uh, so, you know, if, if, you've got a, if you're a casual basher and you're just looking, hey, I need to charge two batteries at once. Or uh, maybe you got a two cell and a three cell that you want to charge at the same time. Uh, you don't want to deal with going out and buying these stupid charge leads. This has got everything all inside the box. So if you're on a budget, uh, you've got your balance ports on the side there. If you're on a budget, this is a great charger. This is definitely going to uh, come in handy in terms of just casual charging. Like tomorrow I'm going to take out, uh, I had a little weird little glitch with one of my RCs that i got to take it back out now. And uh, this I can just go upstairs, plug in the wall, charge my batteries, not worry about firing up a power supply and all that. So this is the Onyx 245 charger, standalone RC battery charger. If you have any questions or if you have this and you have an opinion about it, post them up on down below. Make sure that, if you haven't already, to subscribe above and use that little thumb button like right down here to tell us that, you know, even though I hate you, I love you. Also, you can join the conversation over on our website at rcnightmare.com. Thanks for watching this video. We'll talk to you real soon.